वेलकम टू ऑल आई एम डॉक्टर आशा कदम फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ बॉटनी दादा पाटील महाविद्यालय कर्जत टुडे वी लर्न अबाउट द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द प्लास्टिड दैट इज द वी लर्न द रिमेनिंग टाइप्स ऑफ द प्लास्टिड दैट इज क्लोरोप्लास्ट एंड द ल्यूकोप्लास्ट सो द क्लोरोप्लास्ट फाउंड ओनली इन द अलगल एंड द प्लांट सेल्स we know that chloroplast is the plant organelle that produces the energy through the process of a photosynthesis the word chloroplast comes from the greek word that is the chloras chloras means green chloras means green and plast means the form means here they are chloras and the plast these two words are come together and here is the coin term that is the chloroplast it has a high concentration of a chlorophyll the molecule which capture the light energy and this gives many plants and the algae which are green in color like the mitochondria the chloroplast is also evolved from the free living bacteria this diagram or the picture shows with the structure of the chloroplast we know that chloroplast is a double membrane structure they having the outer and the inner membrane this one is the inner membrane and these are the outer membrane in between this outer and the inner membrane there is the space and that we call as the intermembrane space these are the stacks of thylakoids and that we call as the grana here the aqueous fluid like structure are present and that we call as the stroma these are the thylakoid which is site for the photosynthesis so these pictures so we this ultra structure of the chloroplast which are double membrane structure in which with the outer and the inner membrane there is the intermembrane space here this one is the thylakoid these are the fluid like matter that we call as the stroma these are the stack of thylakoids that we call as the grana so when we learn the detailed structure of the chloroplast that time we know that chloroplast is like the mitochondria they are oval in shape and have the two membranes that is the outer membrane which forms the external surface of the chloroplast and the inner membrane which just lies beneath them between the outer and the inner membrane there is the thin intermembrane space which having the 10 to 20 nanometer wide this space within the inner membrane that alpha is called as the stroma this space within the inner membrane that called as the stroma while the inner membrane of mitochondria that having a many folds and that time we call it as the cristi which absorb the surface area the inner membrane of the chloroplast are very smooth instead the chloroplast have many small disc shaped sacs and that small disc shaped sacs that we call as the thylakoid they are within their stroma so in the stroma there are various enzyme complex of the organic molecules that are used to store the energy such as the in the form of carbohydrate it also contains its own dna and ribosomes that are similar to those found in the photosynthetic bacteria and for this reason the chloroplast are thought it how you hold the in eukaryotic cell from the free living bacteria 
just like the mitochondria so here this picture showing the three dimensional structure of chloroplast this one is the membrane which are the outer and the inner there is the membrane space in between outer and the inner membrane that is the inter intermembrane space these are the fluidy water substance that stroma these are the grana which are the stacks of the thylakoids these are the thylakoids and here these are called as the grana longitudinal section getla the when we take the longitudinal section that time grana look like this okay so here these are the in between these uh, granum there is some linking link that we call as the that we call as the lamina so when we take the functions of chloroplast that time we know that chloroplast are the part of the plant and the algal cell which carry out the most important process that is the photosynthesis photosynthesis process of converting light energy to the energy which are stored in the form of sugar and the different organic molecules that the plant and the alga they use as the food we know that photosynthesis process occurs only in the organism that is the chloroplast means chloroplast is the play important role in the cycle for the process of photosynthesis which are important for the preparation of a food for the plant and the algal organism photosynthesis process having the two stages that is in the first stage there is the light dependent reactions are occur and in the second stage all the light independent reactions are occur so these reactions in the first stage in uh, where the light dependent reactions are occur all these reactions they capture the sunlight through the pigment chlorophyll and the carotenoid which forming the atp and also they form the nadph which carries the electrons but in the second stage that is light independent reactions which are occurs that we called as the calvin cycle and in the calvin cycle the electrons that carries by any dph which convert the inorganic carbon dioxide into the organic molecule in the form of a carbohydrate and such process is called as the carbon dioxide fixation means in the calvin cycle the electrons carried out by nadph which converts inorganic carbon dioxide into the organic molecule in the form of carbohydrate and such process we call as the carbon dioxide fixation process so carbohydrate and the organic molecule that are stored and used at a later time of a energy so these features showing the process of photosynthesis we know that in the photosynthesis process there are two stages that is in the first stage all the light dependent reactions are occur and here in the second step all the light independent reactions are occurs that we call as the calvin cycle so we know that the chloroplast is the important organelle in which the photosynthesis process is occur then next type of the plastid is the leucoplast in the leucoplast there is the category of plastid that having the plant cells but without pigment means these leucoplast are always pigment free they are non pigmented 
these are contrast to the chromoplast and the chloroplast they lacking the photosynthetic pigment they are not green in appearance because of the non photosynthetic pigments are there they are located in the non photosynthetic tissue of the plants such as the root bulb and the seeds they may be specialized for bulk storage of the starch lipids or the proteins which are known as the amyloplast ileoplast and the proteinoplast so these are the example of a leucoplast in which there are in the seeds the potatoes there are the starch content is there and these are the colorless means here the pigment free the both the diagram showing that these cells are the pigment free means they are the colorless and that's why here the type of the plastid is the leucoplast then amyloplast amyloplast are the type of a plastid which double envelop organelles in the plant cells that are involved in various biological pathways they are specifically a type of a leucoplast a sub category of colorful colorless and non pigment containing plastids these are the sub category of the colorless and the non pigment containing plastids colorful pigments are present only in the amylo uh, only in the chromoplast and the chloroplast but remaining all the leucoplast amyloplast ileoplast and the proteinoplast they are the pigment free means there is the colorless pigment they all these plastids are the colorless these amyloplast are also found in roots and storage tissues and store and synthesize the starch for the plant through the process of polymerization of a glucose molecule star synthesis relies on the transportation of carbon from the cytosol and the mechanism by which it's currently under debate whether the starch synthesis relies on the transportation of carbon or the not that is on the debate so here these are the cotyledonous part of the plant here the embryo which showing the non pigmented part that is the endosperm that is the storage tissue here the roots are also colorless and here shoot is with color their appearance is green color because of presence of a chlorophyll pigment but the root they are colorless and endosperm also colorless because they are the non photosynthetic region or they are pigmented free region of the plastids so we know that when the embryo development from the plumule there is the formation of the shoot and the radical there is formation of the root why the shoot is the color in colorful because of presence of the chlorophyll pigment but the roots are the colorless because there is the pigment is the absent then ileoplast these are also the type of a leucoplast which are specialized for the storage of lipids in the plants these are the house of oil body deposits which are rounded plastoglobuli and essentially they are called as the fat droplets they are also formed in the form of a fat droplet so here this example orchids lily and the here in these flowers the otters knots are permanently attached they are flowing down because of presence of a oil droplet there is the type of the plastid is the ileoplast next is the proteinoplast which are specialized organelles found in the plant cells and it belong to the broad category of organelles that known as the plastids because they also lack the pigments proteinoplast are most kindly part of the leucoplast they contain the crystalline body of the proteins 
is the site of enzyme activity which involving the proteins also they are found in the seeds such as the branching nut peanut and the pulses although all the plastids contain high concentration of protein proteinoblast were also identified in the 1960s and 1970 which have the large protein inclusions that are visible with both light and the electron microscope so today we learn about the type of the plastid that is the chloroplast in which green pigment is dominant and the other leucoplast in which the pigment this leucoplast is the pigment free plastid also there are sub category or sub types of the leucoplast amyloplast proteinoplast ileoplast all these also these plastids are pigment free and that's why they their appearance is the colorless 